Hey guys, Harry from Inside Boxing Brain and I hope you're having a great day. I'm back for another quick video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and drop me a comment in the comment section below. Today's video is about Amir King Khan. Just a really brief video to touch on a few of the key points that I want to mention because I am going to be doing a whole breakdown series and going through some of his historical fights. Now, the reason why I want to talk about Amir is because within the boxing community and within the Pakistani community, Amir Khan is an absolute legend of the game. As far as British boxing greats go, there are very few boxers who have reached the heights that Amir has reached, who have achieved what he has achieved within the professional ranks. But having said that, Amir still seems to get a lot of backlash and a lot of hatred from a lot of yet yeah, casual boxing fans. So, just three points that I'm going to touch on in this video, and as I've already mentioned, I will be doing a full breakdown video on Amir and a few of his greatest fights. Point number one, Amir Khan is the fastest boxer to ever lace up the gloves. His combination punching at the peak of his career between around about 21 and 24 was honestly a spectacle to watch. I have never seen another professional boxer step into the ring and let combination punches off as quick as Amir Khan. He would throw six punches a second. Now, that is ridiculous. And when he was fighting the likes of Zab Judah, Marcus Maidana, Luis Calazo, Daniel Danny Garcia, uh, and so on, you could just see how his speed was levels and levels above his competition. Point number two, Amir Khan has a true warrior's heart. In all of his fights, Amir never quit. Even in his last fight where you were saying he was fighting... Um, Terence Bud Crawford and everyone said he quit because of a low blow. Amir Khan historically in his career is a man who will go out on his shield. He will let you knock him out. If you're going to stop him, stop him. Otherwise Amir will be there until the last bell throwing fists, throwing gloves and trying his best to hurt his opponent. He's not a shy fighter who you know holds back and cops out as soon as the going gets tough. Amir is a fighter who is happy to go out on his shield and leave everything in the ring. Point number three. I think Amir Khan has got a lot of negative and bad press for not being able to ride or take a punch. Now, for me, I think this is false news because Amir can definitely take a punch. If you look at his fight against Marcus Maidana, he was catching punches all night long from ridiculous angles and he was riding those punches and coming back with sharp combinations himself. Yes, it has to be said that Amir Khan has been knocked out a few times, but any man can be knocked out. This whole myth around some people can take a punch and some people can't is wrong. Whether you can take a punch or not comes down to the fact of how you made weight and how hydrated you are. Professional boxers can all take punches they take punches for a living, for God's sake. So those three points I really want to touch on and I want to mention in this brief video. Leave me a comment below if you agree or disagree with my comments and leave me a comment below as to why you think Amir Khan is either a great British boxing champion or not. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video as well. I am going to be back, as I've mentioned, for a full breakdown of some of Amir Khan's greatest fights. In particular, I want to touch on his fight against Marcus Maidana because as a boxing fan, that was one of the main fights that really helped me fall in love with the sport. So guys, really brief video. It's Harry from Inside Boxing Brain. And yes, you guessed right, we will be back for another video very soon. Peace.